Hey, what's going on YouTube? Isaac here. Today, I am showing you this survival kit sold by Colonial Knife Corp. You can get this on their website at colonialknifecorp.com. And it is a pretty neat little basic kit here. So this review isn't really a use review. We're just going over you know the contents of the kit and if i think it is a viable survival kit uh, that you can keep in a backpack when you're out on a hike just in case you get a little lost or hurt and have to spend an uncomfortable night or two in the woods to wait for somebody to come bail you out or better yet bail yourself out so let's go we got what appears to be a watertight container here. So let's pop this open and see what we got. It kind of gives you a list on the uh, front cover there, in case you didn't see it. You know, all the, uh, the contents. You can pause that and read it. We're not going to read through it because y'all can probably read. So we'll take a look. We got... Uh, a large gauze pad. Now we got some first aid contents in this kit. We've got the Mylar space blanket for warmth. Here, got some hooks, line, and sinker. A little basic fish kit. And we'll sit that over side. We probably won't fit everything in frame once we got it all out. Uh, bandage, alcohol swab, we'll put that in a pile of first aid stuff. Now here's something that's pretty neat. So this is a whistle, thermometer, compass combination. And the compass is fairly accurate. North is definitely that way, east is definitely straight ahead. So finding your basic cardinal direction should be no issue with that. I don't know if you're going to be, you know, finding your direction to the utmost degree. A little chilly in here, huh? Pretty neat, pretty neat tool. We got a knife in here. This is an like an, a new old stock from Colonial Knife Company. This is an ideal line of camp knife or scout knife. So you got different tools on here. Knife, you got the awl, then you got the, what's the bottle or the cap lifter, bottle opener, cap lifter, whatever you want to call it. And then you got the can opener. Ooh, this one over here is is quite stiff. Uh, yeah, there we go. See the can opener there. So it's a pretty neat knife and it's got the bail. I mean, these are these are a real classic pattern that you can use. And now this is a pretty unique item to the kit. This is a roll of dental floss. As some cordage you can use and <laughs> Can you smell that? It is the mint flavor. So he put that in there because dental floss is kind of tough. It may not be, you know, 550 cord, but look how compact it is compared to a roll of 550 cord, you know? So we have that and it's it, dental floss is tough to break. You, you got to cut it. You know, when you have it in the, the square pack package it comes in, you have to cut it with that little line cutter on the top of the, the box. You can't just pull it and break it. So it's tough cordage for tough enough for a night or two in the woods. Here we have some quick fire for fire starting. And we have a variety of matches in here. Looks like those are some waterproof and storm-proof ones over here, wrapped in some aluminum foil. Aluminum foil, useful for different things. 
obviously you can uh you know cook up your your catch from your fish hooks here and you could also shape it into a container to boil some water in now over here we have a few you know small candles for emergency this is a block of fire starter so you can sh shave this down with your blade and this i believe is also some instructions and see this burn after reading so that's some extra fire tinder all right and some basic um you know survival know-how here you know get your cardinal directions sun rises in the east sets in the west you know so most of the time you know in the afternoons that the sun will be in the southern sky at least if you're in the north northern hemisphere so really really cool kit now we're going to judge the viability of this kit by dave canterbury's five C's of survival there. Well, it's popularized by him anyway. So it's five C's. Let's see if we can count them here. We got combustion, cover, cordage, cutting, and I believe, c -c 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 I don't know. <laughs> Maybe candling the vice. He, he expanded it into 10 10 uh, C's eventually, but I think that's an old um, Boy Scout thing anyway. So combustion, you know, we have our fire kit here. Oh, actually, I think the one is containers. Uh, so, you know, we got fire with this fire starter. There was a, oh, here it is. That piece of fire starting kit here. Obviously this, all these matches container you have the box itself as well as this bag you can gather water and collect and so then you can shape something out of that aluminum foil cordage you got that dental floss cutting tool with your knife now cover which is your shelter you have this mylar blanket you can either just use that as a blanket wrap it around yourself which is what it's made for or you could really rig this up in some type of lean-to and you know put put your fire in front of you and hopefully that'll reflect a nice amount of heat back onto you also we have these candles here provide you a little light i don't know how long these little things would burn for obviously they're a little a little thicker and all than you know birthday cake candles You got, you know, bonus stuff here with your compass, a bit of first aid. Yeah, let me put that in here. You got food procurement. I think it is, without a doubt, a viable kit to get you through. A night or two out lost in the woods which is what it's meant for this is not meant to be your bug out bag to survive for extended periods but it is one nice little kit that you can store at the bottom of your backpack in a vehicle or wherever you want the choice is yours so check it out colonialknifecorp.com